And hello, how is everyone on this beautiful Tuesday evening? Well, it's Tuesday evening on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. And I am Terry Lynn Boyle, your Vancouver Island medium, here with my peanut gallery. Hello, Carmen! Yay! Yay. Carmen's here again tonight. Uh, we actually just finished doing a little bit of uh, Kundalini yoga. Um, I have a beautiful teacher here at the Amethyst Forest named Simran. She's just lovely. And and uh, we do Kundalini yoga every Tuesday from 6.30 to 7.30, don't we, Carmen? We sure do. Yes, we do. So what do you do that helps you to have like a spiritual practice? Do you have a spiritual practice? Well, maybe, maybe you should. I think everybody should. A little bit of meditation, a little bit of walking in the uh, in the forest, a little bit of walking around the lake or the ocean if it happens to be convenient for you, like it is for me. Yay! And Carmen. Um, something like that. Uh, maybe you journal. What a lovely thing to do. I learned how to do creative journaling. Have you ever done that, Carmen? Yeah. Creative yeah. journaling? Yeah. It's it's like you you open up your book and you have it's it's like um, craft time. You sit at your table, you have your crayons. Myself, I sit out on my deck and I get my granddaughter's crayons and I start coloring or I uh, make lists. I make diagrams, you know, of, okay, so this week my self-care is going to be this or I'm going to try a different spiritual practice, you know, whether it's a little bit of meditation or some kundalini yoga, whatever it happens to be. Um, I'll also... Uh, I will um, also just sit in gratitude. Have you ever done that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mostly. Just, yeah. I find that when I'm really irritated about something, when something just, you know, just, I don't know, somebody eats the last piece of bread and doesn't get any more, or something like that, you know, I just walk around and everything I look at, I'm so, I'm so grateful for this pen. Because it's purple, and I like purple. And oh my goodness, I'm so grateful for this phone because it never leaves me alone, and it makes me feel loved. <laughs> and, but everything, you know, the door, the floor, the deck I'm sitting on, or, you know, whatever it happens to be, because all of those things have helped make my life much better. And I take them for granted all the time. You know, I don't... Uh, I don't look at my little dog, Frankie, who's going to be seven years old tomorrow. And um, I don't say, gosh, I sure do love you, Frankie, you know, and, and I'm so glad that you're such a great companion. I do now. I mean, I say that now, but I didn't used to. And, um, just the little things, appreciating that hot cup of tea in the morning. Oh, how wonderful. Or that warm bed that I get to sleep in every single night. So... Do me a favor. When you get up in the morning, whether you're in Australia, and hello, Ozzy, how are you? Or in Scotland, in England, in North Carolina, wherever you happen to be, see if, see if you can't just take that time to be grateful for the mosquito that bit you, for, I don't know, the price of gas going up to an outrageous amount. That's a tough one to find gratitude for, but I'm sure it's good for someone somewhere. Somebody has benefited from that. Um, so do that this week. Every single day, start your spiritual practice. Wake up in the morning, and before you even open your eyes, pay it forward. Universe, spirit, God, whoever it is that you talk to, say thank you for helping me to have an amazing day. And the same at night when you go to bed, just before you go to sleep, lay there. And to whoever you talk to, my divine, my God, my universe, the spirit, or whoever it happens to be, say thank you for helping me to have a wonderful sleep this night. That's where it starts. When you do get out of bed, take your time. Allow yourself to wake up gently. Don't pull yourself out. Of course, unless you're late. Boy, that's the worst thing. Oh, that is the worst to be late. Oh, man. So just remember, take your time. Be kind to yourself. 
develop some kind of spiritual practice, whether it's a, a five minute practice or an hour practice, whatever it is, bring yourself closer to the light. Okay. And have a beautiful week doing that. And call me next week so I know how you did. Okay. So, well, I guess we should just get to some callers. Are you ready for callers? Carmen? All right, talk to me. Guys. Absolutely. All right, don't quit being so quiet. You're not a quiet girl. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Carmen is one of the readers here at the Amethyst Forest, and she's quite amazing, I'm just saying. So, and she's also doing Skype reading. So, if you happen to want to do a little bit of a Skype reading, you can get hold of Carmen at, um, here at the Amethyst Forest. You can send me an email at uh, terrylynnboyle at gmail.com. You can find Carmen on Facebook at Witching Crow. You can find me on Facebook at Vancouver Island Media. Okay? And now, now, enough about me and enough about you. Let's get on with some business here, huh? Hello, Vanessa in Orlando, Florida. How are you doing this evening, Vanessa? I'm doing good. How are you? I am fabulous. And you are in Orlando. I used to live in Orlando. <laughs> yes, sunny state. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I lived in uh, Kissimmee, um, or as oh, okay, people yeah, who... I'm about 20 minutes from there. Oh, yeah. Well, as people who don't know how to say it, they'd always say Kissimmee, right? <laughs> Very true. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I also lived in Tallahassee and in Wesley Chapel outside of Tampa. I was in Florida for about 10 years. So, anyway... How, how are we doing tonight? How is it? It's really, really hot in Florida right now. Yes, it is. It's rainy. It's cloudy, and yeah, it's nasty. It's <laughs> I don't, I don't miss the humidity there. That's for sure. That is for sure. So, I do have a grandchild down in Florida, though. Hi, Makaya. If you see her, would you tell her I said hi? Absolutely. Believe it or not, it hasn't even been hot lately anymore. It's been really cold, believe it or not. People don't believe me when I say that, but it's been cold. <laughs> yeah, but cold to you is what? Like 70 mm -hmm. degrees? 70s, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought, yeah. <laughs> oh, honey, that's a summer day here. <laughs> so, and I'm happy with that. I don't, I'm don't. i not into the whole 80 degrees and higher and stuff. I'm happy just to have a nice calm, you know. So, Missy Miss, how can we help you tonight? I was calling to see if you guys could pick up anything on my dad and if he wants to say anything and um, stuff like that. Your dad's not the only one over there, though, is he? Because he's also, his, his mother is over there? Also, he's with his um, mom? No. Who's the woman he's with then? He, that I'm not sure. He is with his father. Okay. Oh, it could be his sister. I was just going to say, does he have a sister that's passed? <laughs> so it's yes. his, his sister's yes. over there, your aunt also, right? Um, the one thing that he's telling me is that he wants you to know that there isn't, um, um, he's running through a field. Okay. And he says that that's important for you to know. Um, okay. That he runs. And he, was did, was there something wrong with his leg? Um, before he passed away, he wasn't, um, he was in a hospital bed, so maybe because he oh. wasn't um, yeah, mobile, because, so that could be why. Yeah, because he said that he's running and he's jumping and there is no pain and there, is, he says, I'm so good, it's just crazy. I don't think I could be any better kind of like this. And he also, um, do you have a son? I have a daughter and I have a stepson. Okay. Now, are you pregnant right now? No. Are you trying to get pregnant right now? No. <laughs> then be very careful, dear. Okay. Cause I see a little boy with you and I don't know that it's your stepson. Okay. okay. Just saying. Okay. That's, that's good to know. Yeah, I mean, and that's, and that's the one thing that I'm really good at is babies, aren't I, Carmen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. I love babies, then maybe that's why. So you just be a little bit careful. Uh, but also, um, 
Has your dad been gone a couple years? Um, about here? seven, yes. Yeah. It's not like this yesterday. And did he meet your daughter? He didn't, did he? No, he didn't. Yeah. Your daughter has a birthmark on her head, though. Yes. And this, yes, and this is where your father was holding her. He says to tell you that he kissed her soul before he sent it into this world. And that's his mark that you know that he did that right here on her head. So um, know that your dad has been with your daughter and he, he has met her. Okay. And when that little boy comes through, he'll do the same thing. Okay. Um, also, your daughter looks very much like you as a baby. He's telling me that. Yes, um, he does. Yeah. It's like with your baby pictures. He shows me your baby pictures and you almost can't tell who is who, which one's you and which one's your daughter. Um, That's good to know. Yeah. Um, were you. Okay, hold on. What are you saying here, Bob? Uh, he tells me that, do you have a sister? I do have a sister. Is there a distance between your sister and either you or between your sister and your dad? Um, her, him and my sister was close. Uh, me and her, we, we sometimes argue and stuff like that. Yeah, that's where the distance is, is between you and your sister. And he just says to have patience with her. <clears throat> okay. Because she's a, she's a lot like him, and you're a lot like your mom, right? That's correct, yes. Yeah. Um, he also wants you to know. Oh, my goodness, what is that? Because at times I feel like you... Um, I don't know if your mom and dad did this, but at times I feel like you were always with your mom. He was always with her. And it was almost like you guys felt like the other parent didn't really care for you. And that's not the right way to say that. That's not, it's not that they didn't care for you. It's that, that um, they love, you know, as children, we go, oh, well, you love her more. And I think that there must have been a time that must have been like similar to that. Okay. Um, yeah. And he wants you to know that he never loved her more than you and that he always just loved you exactly the same. It was the only reason that that would ever come up is because they had a little bit more of similar interest, whereas you had more of an interest with your mother. Okay? Yeah. But he wants you to know that he always, always loved you and that there was never a time that he loved your sister more than you. Okay, and I think that that's something that you need for closure to yes. um, to to clean up. So so um, also he hangs. Okay, do you have a little bit of OCD to where if somebody walks in a room and moves something? You know. Yes. Yeah, I want you to pay attention to that because your dad moves things. Yes. Hello. Okay. I'm sorry, can, yes. Are you on speakerphone? Or are you close no, to your no, radio? No, can you I'm I'm like, my turn your radio down, maybe? Sure. Can you hear Thanks. me a little bit better? Yeah, that's better now. Um, oh, perfect. So sorry. Is, there is like a, a picture, or it's, uh, I don't know exactly, maybe it's a plaque or something, but it's on a, on a like a, a shelf, and it's always moved, and you always have to fix it. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah yes, that's your do. dad. So every time, every time you fix that, you say, "All right, Dad, I know you're here." All right. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And uh, he also wants you to know. Did your daughter have an accident or something? Did she get hurt? Or could no. have been really hurt at one point? There was something. Because he's telling me that he watches over her. You don't ever have to worry about her. He says that he protects her. And he said he'll smack you upside the head to let you know if something's going on. I mean, he won't really um, say. I was in a car accident right before I had her, but she was, thankfully, she wasn't in the car. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So right after was... I had her, I was in a car accident. Okay. That's where it is. Um, was she was supposed to be with you, though? 
Um, usually I take her everywhere I go, but something told me to yeah. keep her with my mom. That something was your daddy. So, yes. Yeah. Um, how awesome. Okay. Is there anything else tonight there, Vanessa? Um, no, I think um, that's it. And um, if that's all he has to tell me or if he has anything special he needs to tell me. Just that um, he just wants to make sure you understand that he never loved you less. And that's something that's very important to you. Also, um, is there a chain, like a, a necklace chain that was his with a ring on it? Who has his ring? Um, yes, he had a number dad ring um, that we kept on. Okay. He just acknowledges and that. And he wore that all the time. Yeah. That's, that's pretty. Is it on a chain now? Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. And Sorry, my sister I didn't has that. a necklace of his ashes that's on a tree. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Awesome. Okay. Um, I wish I could sit and talk to you all night there, Vanessa, but I've got another caller waiting on me. So thank you oh, for thank helping. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Well, thank you so much for helping, for letting me um delve into your private life there and talk to your dad he's a good looking guy hey Ooh, a little yeah. bit of a flirt just a little bit of a flirt too i'm gonna say so <laughs> <laughs> have a lovely evening vanessa thank you so much for calling in okay we'll talk to you again soon all right so next carmen that was kind of cool huh Orlando, I used to live there. Oh, awesome. You know, you weren't in Kissimmee, you were in Kissimmee. <laughs> you just like to say, oh, Kissimmee. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, next we have all the way from Albany, Western Australia, Karen. Hi, Karen, are you there? Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. How is the weather in Australia? Oh, it's a bit overcast and a little bit chilly today, but not too bad. Oh, well, you might as well be on Vancouver Island because that's kind of how it was here today. Oh, actually, the sun, came, the sun came out for a couple of hours and we got up to like 15 degrees. So it was really, it was nice. I cannot, I'm not complaining, not one little bit because we've had a lot of rain. Yeah. <laughs> so, and you yeah, guys are going into winter now. we just had a little now. bit of drizzle, nothing significant this end. Not yet. So. No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so how can I help you tonight, Karen? Look, I was wondering if you have any messages for me at all or if you can tell me about my future. Okay, so you're just kind of in for, for, for whatever I got, right? Yeah, basically. Okay, so the I've first never thing done wanna... this before. No? No, well, so it's... I really don't know what to ask. <laughs> Well, it's about time you did then. Okay, so um, one thing I want to ask you, um, how do diamonds resonate with you? Pardon? Are, are you married? No. Do you have a, a, a partner? No. Are you looking for one? Oh, I guess everyone wants the real deal. That is exactly right. And I think it's coming your way because as I've been sitting here kind of talking, I tend to doodle. So, um, and, and the messages come, I don't even realize it. And then all of a sudden there's a message there. So what I have done, is I almost want to show it to you. Oh, you can't see it. You're on the radio. What am I thinking? <laughs> oh yeah, it's radio. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't even know, I don't know why, where this came from, but I have two diamonds that I've drawn and I have the word couple with flowers on each or either side of it. So that's oh, wow. why I was, yeah, and that's why I went in that direction because this is for you and his name starts with A. With A? This, yes. Um, okay. Who I see... Um, oh, lighter hair, a little bit, might even be a little bit of gray in it, whether it's premature or it's 
actually gray, um, or he's just old. You like older men? <laughs> I do prefer older men. Well, that's why it's gray then, of course. <laughs> so, um, yeah, because it's 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 lighter hair. It's like a gray. It's not blonde. It's like gray or white in there, a little bit of salt and pepper kind of thing. You know how you got the guy with the salt and pepper, dark hair and the light hair? Woo! Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. And I see him probably about not overly tall. I want to say he's like maybe about 5'10". Maybe 5'11". Okay. Okay? Um, yeah. And he's not a loser, if you know what I <laughs> That sounds so rude. Yeah, so excellent. <laughs> <laughs> but he is nothing like what you have had before, okay? Because you Loses, haven't made, yes. You haven't made the smartest decisions when it's come to men. Some of the... I, no, I have a, you have a girlfriend that has told you she's going to pick your next man. Really? Oh, yeah, she will. There is... Um, Oh, um, that was my husband calling me, and I don't know how to turn off my Sorry. iWatch, so it rings all the time. <laughs> um, there, you have a really close friend. We're not. Sorry? Oh, we are. Yeah. What did you say? Yeah. We are or we're not? I said, you have a really close girlfriend and she yes. has said and she has said to you that she's going to pick out your next man. Oh your next no. Man. Well, I don't know if she's going to. That's how you're going to meet it, is through her. Okay? Is there a letter or a name? An A. His name starts with A. What about my girlfriend? Oh, the girlfriend. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's her name that starts with A, because I just heard Angela. Do you have an Angela? No. Or is there an Angela that is passed over that you know? Angela. No, Angela. not that I know of. But maybe Ed was adopted, so I don't know, like, his side of the family tree, and I never met my mother's side of the family tree either. Ah, there you go. Um, so it could be, I don't know. Okay. Okay, um, so you have, I feel like you kind of had a bit of a, um, a rough upbringing here, and uh, not upbringing, how's that, what's up with I'm looking for, Carmen? A rough, uh, um, I don't want to say past, it did in the past, obviously, because it didn't happen this second, but Childhood. Not childhood, but like, oh, teen. Teen, like, you know, from like like 15 to 30 were not good years for you, okay? No, not brilliant. <laughs> yeah. And just I, I, what I want you to do more than anything is I want you to find the positiveness about that. And I don't want you to be so hard on yourself about those that, you, you know, no, you didn't make some good decisions. But you, you made some decisions that weren't completely bad either, right? So that's right. That is exactly right. And all of those decisions that you made have helped to make you who you are today, right? Yes. And that's who you need to love first. And in the past, that's not happened. You haven't loved yourself first. And you've always conformed your life and who you are to the type of man that you're dating. So if he likes hockey, you like hockey, even though you can't stand the sport. If he likes, you know, um, acid, hard rock and roll, that's what you like, even though you don't like it. But because he did, you would yes. change your ways to be just like him so that you could be what he wanted. And that's not who you are. You need to be who you truly are and then allow the love to come in. And that's when it's real. Okay? Okay. So, so this guy, where am I going to meet this guy? Do you get that vibe? Where are you going to meet this guy? That I do not, I do not know that. But I feel like you're going to be oh. friends first. Good. Um, 
Yeah, I think you're going to be friends first. Um, and and I don't think you're going to be expecting it. I think it's going to be all of a sudden, you know, you're going to be friends, and then all of a sudden, kaboom, you ain't friends no more. There's a whole lot more going on. And you're like, wow, I didn't see that coming, that kind of a uh, relationship. It'll, I think it's going to be something that's going to kind of really surprise you. And you're going to go, yeah, that's cool. This is awesome. This is, this is a good thing. But I think it'll, it'll be a surprise to you also. Okay. Okay? All right. Now, can I ask you what you do for a living? Work in education. Okay. Why is that? Well, because, because I want to say that you're going to meet him at work, but I just don't know if... I, I, I don't know. I have been toying with um, implementing a program, a community-based thing that will... Uh, how can I put it without putting too much out there? Extend for the elderly to through to the young, but it's a community-based thing. Oh, lovely. Um... I I would I would watch for him through that. Okay, and and uh, okay. make sure you're you're looking for the gray hair, gray yep. hair, and uh, the five ten five eleven. Okay, and his name is okay. Alex. That's what it sounds like, Alex. His name's hey. Alan. Alan. Oh, go. God, I'm trying to avoid the Allens. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey. I'm on live. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. Woo. Okay. Oh, dear me. <laughs> I have got to run here. We are out of time tonight. So, Karen, you check oh, out that Allen. Have a wonderful time. Live. And I'm Terry Lynn Boyle, the Vancouver Island medium. You can get a hold of me on Facebook at Vancouver Island Medium or at Terry Lynn Boyle, da, 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 Terry Lynn Boyle at gmail.com. That's what it is. Have a wonderful week. Remember your gratitude and start your spiritual practice.